Today, we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your JBC DMPSD for optimal performance. We're gonna explain how to connect the different parts of your setup, including tools, cables, stands, and stations. First, plug the power cord into the DME. Next, take the stand cable and connect it to port one of the DME. Attach the other end of the stand cable to the add stand. Place the T210 on its stand, then connect the tool cable to it. Now, plug the stand cable into port two of the DME or into the port that best fits your stand placement. Attach the other end of the stand cable to the add stand. Place the T245 on its stand, then connect its tool cable to it. Next, take the stand cable and connect it to port 3 of the DME. Attach the other end of the stand cable to the AMS stand. Place the AM120 on its stand, then connect the tool cable to it. Take the stand cable and connect it to port 4 of the DME. Attach the other end of the stand cable to the DTS stand. Place the DT530 on its stand, then connect the tool cable to it. Take the MSE module and turn it upside down. Next, mount the end of the suction cable onto the suction connector of the MSE. Next, plug the module cable into the in port of the MSE. Then, connect the other end of the module cable to the peripherals port. Now you just need to plug the power cord of the MSE. And connect the pedal to the MSE module. Then attach the tool cables to the respective cable collectors. Finally, go to the menu, select peripherals, and choose the port where you connected the add stand of the DT530 in this case, it's the port 4. Your soldering station is now fully connected and ready to use.